Well, good morning, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Steve and Angela Collins coming to you from beautiful place, the second most powerful, passionate, purposeful coach and speaker in the world. In the world. Hope you guys are having a good day today. I apologize for how late this video is. This is one that we were very prayerful about creating and wanting to make sure that uh, we gave plenty of time and attention to the thought around it. So overcoming anxiety, the first thing I want to address, I think it's really important to recognize is that this is not a medical diagnosis conversation that we're about to have with you. We know there are people who have um, hormonal, uh, chemical issues, and that's not what this video is about today. This is your garden variety experience that could take the average person into what we call over analysis paralysis where they just become frozen in taking action or activity because of what they are physically experiencing so the conversation we want to open up with you today is around this idea this principle that we are utilizing in our coaching program with our clients and that we live and model ourselves which is this there's no meaning to anything except the meaning you attach to it in other words, if somebody says, I did a video earlier uh, in the week, last week, if somebody was to say, you know, I'm really scared about this, what they have done is they have spoken the words that are connected to that word scared that your brain hears and then prepares the body for in response to, okay, she said, we're scared, let's get scared, let's do all the stuff that scaredness entails. Let's enhance what we're already doing here, which is the sweaty palms, the sweaty head, the feeling nauseous and nervous and a little disoriented. The issue is your mind and body listen to the words that you say. So when you say, I am scared, the body responds a certain way. So in that previous video, I threw this out there. I said, what if you renamed it what I've renamed it? I'm not scared, I'm experiencing that pre-faith activation. This is my pre, ooh, you feel that? My heart's beating, my palms are sweaty, ooh. This is my pre-faith activation. This is Indiana Jones in the last crusade, passing all the tests except the last one where he's standing in the cave with the chasm hundreds of feet below him. And it says, the man of faith, steps by faith and he sticks his leg out and leans forward and then you know the big reveal on that Indiana Jones movie he was feeling that pre-faith activation so we've just chosen to define physical experience through the words that we choose to use which tend to be very empowering and strengthening they tend to bring you strength and power and focus more than they do fear and issues because by the way there's certain chemicals released when you feel extremely confident and powerful and there's other chemicals released when you feel very weak and very vulnerable so Angela would you like to share anything about how you um, experience <laughs> okay I just want to make sure that she's available to talk about that if she chooses to so l let me just tell you how we deal with it as well so Nobody has an issue if you read a quote from Zig Ziglar or you read a quote from Jim Rohn or Brian Tracy or Tony Robbins. Sometimes people get a little weird if you read quotes from, you know, Jesus or Paul. So don't get weird about that. Um, in the book of Philippians chapter 4, four verse 6 and 7, there's a statement that actually uses the word anxious. And it says, be not anxious for anything. Be anxious for nothing. But in all things by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving make your requests known to God and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus Philippians 4 verses 6 and 7 be not anxious for anything but in all things by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving in your heart make your requests known to God and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding not the peace you have when your relationships are good not the peace you have when money's in the bank not the peace you have when you're feeling healthy not the peace you have when all your ducks are in a row no 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 that makes sense 
And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. So anxiety, what someone would call, where someone say, I'm feeling anxiety, we are choosing to call it something different. We are choosing to say, hey, this is my pre-prayer feeling. So if I'm feeling freaked out and what someone call anxious, we say, okay, this is my trigger to actually pray with thanksgiving. So what might that sound like? Let's say if I was developing a global coaching program and I was extremely freaked out about that, when I have the feelings about curriculum completion and development and my heart's pounding and my breathing is short and I start getting attacked with thoughts that you can't do this, I say, whew, this is my pre prayer activation. This is my trigger. So, Father, I thank you. Thank you for this. Thank you that it's all about you. Thank you that you care about people. Thank you that you love touching people's lives and changing them. Thank you that your love is unconditional. There's nothing anybody can do to be outside of you. You love them unconditionally. Your blessings are conditional. If you do this, then I'll do that. Your blessings are conditional. Your love is So thank you for that. Thank you that you care more about people than anybody I know. And thank you that you're big enough to get what you want dispensed through this thick skull. So I thank you for that. And I just ask you to give me wisdom and grace to complete the task at hand. And then a peace, which doesn't make any sense, comes over me. So my charge and challenge to you today is many people use quotes and statements or affirmations or declarations where you speak into existence the very thing that you want to see happen. You may not realize this. Your mouth is writing the book of your life. Your mouth is writing the next chapter in the book of your life. What are you writing? Are you writing a scary book? Are you writing a romance novel? Are you writing an adventure? Are you writing an action? Are you writing a sad story? The words of your mouth are writing the story of your life and you have the ability to choose what words you will use because what you speak will you see it you see it happening someone who always talks about them being sick being sick being that they just tend to stay that way someone who speaks health and speaks health the brain and the body work together to bring that to pass so my challenge and charge to you is be aware of the affirmations you're already making the affirmations oh my hip hurts oh my head hurts oh my hair is not good oh i can't believe i'm getting wrinkles oh i can't believe i'm getting a jelly belly whatever those are affirmations they're just not powerful you're saying them anyway. I challenge you to start being very conscious of what you are speaking over yourself, what you are saying to describe your situation in your life. So will you enter into this agreement with me and no longer say, I'm having an anxiety attack, I'm under anxiety, I am freaking out. Would you be willing to say, this is my pre-prayer activation. This is my signal that it's time for me to give thanks, even though I don't understand, to pray, not only for yourself or whoever else comes on your heart, but to engage your focus from inward to upward so that you can ultimately move onward. You good? Amen. All right. Y'all have an awesome day today.